Oh, I'm still alive! Hive! Oh, wait, that's Marcus. Where the fuck is Connor? Oh, this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. Uh, corrupted Mind Palace. Uh, Therium Pump for Regulator. All systems in low power mode defective. Yeah, they tried to kill me because they thought I was... But, like, it looks like the entire house blew up, so... Wait, was this the self-destruct thing they were talking about? Left and right light components. And... Corrupted audio data damaged. Replace legs. Okay. Did I really lose Connor on the first, like... I want to reset the second game! I don't want to, like, lose out on, like, a third of the stinking game this early on. No! God stinking darn it! Are you kidding me? Come on, if Marcus could survive this, Connor better be able to survive whatever the fruit stinking happen. One stinking bullet. Come on, Connor, I believe in you. There's no way Connor's dead if this if Marcus is like this. Remove. Alright, we'll just have to rebuild ourselves. <sighs> Take that, thank you. Plug it in. This is stinking. I was about to say, like, a synonym for cool, but then it wound up being a joke. It was like, this is so stinking metal. Get it? Because he is metal. Uh, what the fruit happened? This wasn't just the police's doing. Was it? Oh, God, did I do this? <laughs> oh, no. Marcus, buddy. I make one mistake. And it leads to Connor's death, it leads to Todd's death, well I wanted to kill Todd, but it leads to me stealing money from a cash register! Oh no, oh no, oh no, don't tell me that's... Oh no. Left leg status functional, but whose is it? Well it's not, a, I can't attach a human's leg to me, probably. Take this, oh wait, I'm in like a junkyard or something like... Oh god. Yep, still functioning. Stand up. So they probably sent me here after I messed up. Escape junkyard. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought this was his house for a second. That's so messed up, though. They leave him still functioning. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Find Jericho! Find Jericho! Huh. This is gonna be interesting. They've been trying to break free for a while, it seems. God, it's so stinking dark, I can't see anything. Alright, note to self, next time I have a game that tells me to adjust the brightness, I'm just gonna make it as bright as humanly possible, regardless of, like, what they think is right. Also, this is terrifying. Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Uh, triangle, triangle, triangle. What's worse, the fact that they're still alive or the fact that the humans are okay with it. Oh, we can't let them see me. Find optical unit pump? What? Uh, well, there's some legs just hanging out over here. Examine. We got ourselves a belly. 
a pump regulator. Not good enough. We got ourselves a face incompatible. Functional? Oh, what a day, eh, Marcus? But, like, I refuse to believe Connor's dead then if Marcus can survive this. Marcus got one stinking shot. To the middle of his face, though. Like, looks like Marcus is still, like, grazed. But, Connor, come on, buddy. It's the beginning of the game. You can't make me lose a main character that early. Even Heavy Rain wasn't that cruel. Kill spare. Oh, boy. You really want to live here, though? I can't take you with me. Uh, I don't have a choice, do I? I always want to save everyone. It always backfires. I was wondering, is that the same person as before? It was. Spare. God darn it, I'm sad. I'm really sad. So where do I go then? Do I have a choice in anything? In the end, it doesn't really matter. Check. Check. Go. Back. Check. This one's just ahead. Please be compatible. Compatible! Yeah! Which means it's alive. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? You could give me your Hello. soul. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest Cyber Life Maintenance Center. I got two eyes again. find a pump and an audio thing so I can't hear and I can't breathe properly. Well, here seems to be like a there's like a million things lying around but the question is which ones are useful and which ones aren't being occupied by living beings or living robots. Uh, incompatible. Great. Just gotta keep on searching. Like, every time I find something that's compatible, though, it ends up being attached to someone still functioning. Let's go over here. Take this. If I can. It's compatible. And it's not occupied. Cool. Uh, I gotta remove my stinking heart and reattach a new one that's so stinking metal! Oh god, you're so cool. Oh no, it's just like the battery thing. Alright, shove that in there, if I can. just need to get new ears. If we can, let's go over here. Let's go over ear. Hey buddy, can you hear me? No? Okay, I'll leave. <laughs> no, audio processor compatible. Cool, I didn't have to steal from anyone that was responsive to it. Insert that. And I'm good as new. Climb the slope. 
Wait, where'd the slope go? Is the slope? Where is this slope you speak of? <laughs> it's so dark. I assume it's where these guys are climbing. Uh, slopey. Where's the slope? That's the slope. Climb slope. Thank you, slope, for being labeled. See, back in the day, only refrigerators were labeled. Now we got everything. The future sure is a place to live. Go up here. Triangle. Uh, you gotta mash it for this one. Okay. L1. R1. And we're good! I said we are farmers! I mean good. Oh, rough day, buddy. I know. speak oh dip oh boy we're free From the dead! Cool, Marcus is alive. I wasn't really questioning whether or not he was dying or not. But now, can you please just tell me where the fruit is, Connor? Yay! He's alive! I didn't completely mess everything up. Oh, wait, no. Am I in heaven? Am I in robot heaven? I'm in robot heaven! Amanda? Why does this look so beautiful? Jesus Christ. Oh god, I'm in heaven. This is awkward. <laughs> oh, I wasn't, wasn't prepared for this. Oh my god, it's so stinking beautiful. Oh my god, it's bright and colorful and amazing. It's like beyond eyes if the graphics actually rendered in all at once and if they were super realistic. Excuse me, do you know who Amanda is? Talk? Oh my god, I love your hair. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. Oh! Your deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? 
Uh... He's obviously not what I was expecting. But I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. Yeah, he's what do you fine. Think is the best approach. Friendly. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. I will try to be friendly. To what? You, it will be helpful for the investigation. She didn't like that. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. So we have the benefit of still being obedient, so they were willing to repair us. Though not really, our body was destroyed when this is a new model. But as soon as we go rogue, we're gone. Question is, will we ever go rogue? Who knows? Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Do I get the virtual ball and wall to play with? You might be in shock. Like, nothing's ever gonna beat that. That was thinking hilarious. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Sure. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to All right, I'm just happy that everyone's alive. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm just happy that everyone's alive. I'm happy that everyone's alive because I seriously thought Connor was gone, but like I had to think about it. A is a robot, B, he hasn't gone rogue. That was an accident, like Um, and we still had allies that were willing to bring us back to life, but Kara and Marcus don't have that. I'll have to keep that in mind. And she told us, Amanda told us not to let that happen again. I should probably heed her warning, and I probably can't uh let anything else happen to me. Can I talk to anyone? Anyone wanna chat? Want to play some Rochambeau? More like Rochambot. Get it? Because I'm a robot. I got a million of them. Huh. No one seems to care anymore. Wait, I can go in here? Maybe that's where they wanted me to stay. Don't mind me then. Just walking around the police station. Uh, anyone want to chat? Oh, we could stare at something. If you won't chat with me, I'll chat with this, uh, nameplate. What is D.E.T. Detective? I guess. Police officer? Poe? I don't know. Poe person? <laughs> what? I am officer person. I wanna- Okay, I wanna speak with them. I wanna ask them about their name. Uh, Detective Collins. Uh, that sounds familiar. Anderson, Lieutenant Anderson. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Wait for Lieutenant Anderson. I could sit in his chair, sure. Come on, you gotta have something to pass the time. Explore new office. I'd yeah, like to explore the new office, but now I'm just sitting. Yep, stand up. I'm not gonna sit here and be patient. I'm gonna go ahead and explore Roni. Uh, let's see what we got up here. Someone on the phone. Uh, I'm not allowed to go through there. Okay. No problem. I got more fun things to do anyway than to go up those stairs. Like, go through this door into the archive room. I'm sure I'm allowed in here. I'm not allowed in here. <sighs> what do we got in here then? Uh, excuse me. Oh, no. Is that a person or an android? What? What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you! 
fucking android. I just wanted to hang out. I'm all alone. I don't think he's gonna turn back around, is he? Doesn't seem like it. Fine. Oh, could we go OBS room? Insert stream joke here, I guess. <laughs> go back to Hank's desk. I don't want to go back to his desk. <laughs> Can't explore in here. Why would... It's weird that they'll let you into a room and have literally nothing to look at. I also want to, like, imagine what Connor's response is going to be like. Where the heck were you? I got bored of waiting, so I wandered around aimlessly. Uh, got anything else? Oh, wait, this is the interrogation room where I, where a bunch of stuff happened. Welp. That happened. That was certainly a thing. I messed up. Like, I didn't want to, like... So, yeah, I was confused as to why like, they made it seem like it was a bad thing to lower his stress level. Like, he was more confident he wasn't going to reveal anything to us. But, no... That's not how it works. I was on the right track. They made it, they're being jerks about it. I don't like it. Uh, is there anywhere else we could explore? Uh, good old police briefing. God, everyone's got like no sense of humor, no joy in life. Everyone's just like business, business. I hate robots, but let's make the robots do something anyway. Blah blah blah. Hello, Look who Connor. decided to show up. My name up. is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My I know, right? was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred Cyber its memory and sent me to some. replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hank! In my office! We really need the forensics. Back together again. The best of us. So, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I definitely don't like I don't dislike working with him it's just that matter of how dependable he is he is kind of kind of bummish but I don't know at least he's willing I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day we've always had isolated incidents old ladies losing their Android maids and that kind of crap but now we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night this isn't just cyber life's problem anymore it's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I oh, his name is Jeffrey? He's on my own phone. Everybody and they even spelt it right. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit. Oh my god, this is like a fan is, fiction. Jeffrey and Baby Hank Android, all grown up and in the police the sports bag. with robots. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner. And certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my yeah, what I said. To say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't oh. have any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel. <laughs> this conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. Cause you gotta learn I to just love them. Enough of your bitch. Either you oh do your God. job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Oh, I'm so cool. Oh, my God. Glad to know I turn out okay in the future. Got a nice job. I got confidence. Uh, positive. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Come on, me. Like, you were defending me and now you don't want to talk to me. Come on, can we just... Can have we a have nice a day, secret handshake or a hug real quick before we go? <sighs> Fine. Uh, maybe I'm not all that great in the future. But the future could still be changed because it's not yet written. At least I think. Uh, hello? Is that a real person? 
three laws of robotic partnering. Family life has never been easier. Uh, the three laws of robotic partnering. Parent, parents, you're not partnering. Uh, let's see, what's that related? Uh, child range. Uh, that's a question. Do they have robot children? I doubt they do, because the robots are meant to serve. I don't know why they would make them in child form, but like, why do they decide on this age range? I guess just, uh, I don't even know how old they are, because like, I assume just 25, because, like, they say after 25, then your physical strength starts to deteriorate. It's all downhill from there, but, uh, I don't think you could be a 25-year-old police officer. But then again, I'm a robot, so I can do whatever the heck I want. I don't know. So, where'd Baby Hank go? I'm always going to call him Baby Hank. I'm a new cop. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Do you still like the Nintendo Wii? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Let's mosey on over here. Oh yeah, these just androids just hanging out. Can I speak with them? And you'll want to chat. Android cop. I wish they had names. I don't know. I just don't like that they never have names. And I don't like that. People keep calling them it. I don't know. Like you can at least pretend to be civil. Let's pop a squat. <sighs> Fowler, Bueller. There's something locked that I didn't get apparently. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. You can even say, he raised me with a Wii remote stuffed into my spinal cord. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Let's get down to business. So, there's an android missing. The plant lift reports that he left, he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. Playland claims to have been attacked by an AV500 uh, working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plant lift claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. The plant lift claims to have been attacked by her android, AP700. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Taking flight? Okay. Uh, the plant lift, the manager, Eden Club, reported unexplained disappearance of a sex android model W4, WR400. The android disappeared after accompanying the customer to his home and never returned to the club. So, yeah, this is not, like, is it just current? My question is, how long has this been going on? Is it just happening, or have they been trying to cover it up for a long time? Whoa. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Man- Ew! Well, this is something. Uh, something I might be aware of. Carl Manfred, the late- The latter's witness statement arrests to an alteration- Altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model, and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Oh, hello! The victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello. He- Wait, he has friends? He, uh, immediately called the- 
of the emergency service at 842 who recorded death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim. His android, an AX400, was not found at the scene and is the main suspect. They make no mention of the daughter missing, really? And that's all of them. Okay. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Oh boy. I'll be professional. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Oh boy. Come on, Howard Stern. I wanted you on AGT for all of the end of time, too. I'm not gonna threaten him. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. <laughs> I'm sorry, like. I can't take Connor seriously most of the time. Oh, this hello. Asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I thought we were finally getting along. Well, Connor's alive. That's really all I wanted to know. So I'm feeling a lot better. Hank got a lead. Question is how much... Uh, a lot of branching stuff. Was that just like a miracle that there was one time where I had a 100% thing? Is that the only one that could happen? I doubt you could do it every time. We got some though.